What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about how you can easily get 10 or more headshots every single game of Call of Duty World War 2. So real quick before I jump into it, I just want to apologize for the lack of gameplay audio. I recently switched from a PS4 to a PS4 Slim, uh, which doesn't have audio, uh, optical audio, so I've switched headsets, which means I'm outputting headset audio. Uh, the game audio to my headset instead of the Elgato, therefore there is no game audio, but I'm fixing that over the next few days, um, so don't worry about that, but for now there's not going to be any game audio. Anyway, let's jump right into the topic of the video. I don't know about you guys, but it seems like headshots in Call of Duty World War 2 are are not as easy to get as they used to be in previous Call of Duties, especially Black Ops 3. Uh, that game, it was super easy to get headshots, at least for me, it was just, I don't know, I could get them all of the time. Um, so when I was playing Call of Duty World War 2, I was trying to get a couple of the challenges and contracts done, you know, get five headshots in 20 minutes or get nine headshots in 40 minutes or something like that. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I could increase my chances of getting a headshot in every single gunfight that I got into so I changed my classes and the way that I play a little bit and I've gotten games where I'm getting over 10 headshots every single game ever since I implemented these tips so I wanted to bring you guys this video and kind of just let you know that if you're working towards those camos or you want to get extra armory credits so you can unlock different things or level up faster this is going to be the best way by far to get those headshots now before I go any further the first tip that I want to give you guys is start aiming for the head and I know that sounds like the dumbest tip ever um, it's a no-brainer it seems obvious I get that but most people when they're playing Call of Duty they are not aiming for the head they're trying to shoot the the upper or mid portion of the torso because it's the biggest target on the enemy um, and it doesn't have any gaps right so if you aim at the arms you know sometimes there's a, a gap in the arm or if you're aiming at the legs you could shoot between the legs um, so if you aim at the torso the odds of hitting the target are much higher which makes sense uh, the more bullets that you connect with your target the quicker you're gonna kill them so when it comes to headshots uh, you'll get the occasional headshot that way by just playing normally but if you're trying to get headshots quickly or if you need to get them quickly for a contract uh, you need to make sure that you shoot for the head and what that means is you're going to die more and and that's just the fact um, you're basically exchanging uh, a good kill to death ratio for um, headshots and before I go any further I just want to say I've gone positive um, with getting 10 plus headshots every game it's not hard hard uh, but you know if you're like over a 2 KD player you're gonna be like a 1.5 KD player just because you're gonna be losing a couple more gunfights where you would have won if you were shooting at the body but because you were shooting at the head um, you know you're gonna miss their head uh, and in this game like I said earlier for some reason the hit detection on the headshots is just so bad I I, I see the bullets flying towards their head and I'm not even getting hit markers and it, it's super frustrating um, so that's my first tip start aiming for the head even when you're hip firing uh, so if someone if you come around the corner and they catch you off guard and you freak out start hip firing but start hip firing up right so that way you're swinging towards the head uh, because most likely if you're caught off guard you're gonna die anyway so you might as well increase your chances of getting a headshot um, by swinging up right um, so that's tip number one tip number two is play free-for-all free-for-all is by far the easiest game mode to get headshots in and this has been for the history of Call of Duty every Call of Duty that's ever come out free for all is the easiest uh, game mode to get headshots in because you are constantly entering 1v1 gunfights um, if you play domination if you play team deathmatch if you play capture the flag all of these game modes uh, force a bunch of players into one central location uh, and that means it's gonna be 1v2s uh, 2v3s or you know any sort any combination of those things um, plus you'll get spawn trapped and you know all this other stuff so you don't want any of that right uh, you 
want to control the engagement as much as possible and the only way that you can control an engagement is by limiting the number of people involved um, so you want to have as many 1v1s as possible and that is most common in free-for-all which makes sense because nobody's on a team everyone's on their own uh, so you're gonna be running around with nobody else around so you want to play free-for-all trust me guys this is the best game mode to play now I'm aware that some of these contracts say you know get five headshots in team deathmatch or get five headshots in domination and that makes sense that's fine if you're doing those obviously you have to play those game types so just use all the other tips that I'm uh, gonna give you guys in this video but if you're just going for camos and you just want those headshots make sure you're playing free for all it'll make your life a, a much much easier so tip number three is make sure you're using the mountain division um, primarily for the last perk of silent movement plus the fact that you're always hidden to enemy recon aircraft that is huge but mainly you're doing it for silent movement because if you are in a free-for-all specifically i mean again this works for other game modes but we're going to be talking about free-for-all for this video if you're running around and you're getting into into these engagements you do not want your enemy to hear you you want to be able to hear which direction they're coming from that way you can again control that engagement the other thing is if you are standing somewhere and you see an enemy run across your screen you can now chase them um, which typically in team deathmatch and stuff i wouldn't recommend chasing but in this it's fine um, you can chase them and, and wait until you have a straight line of sight where you know you can put a few bullets in them before um you know they can turn a corner so with the silent movement on your character again you can chase them uh, pretty far hoping that you don't get shot from behind obviously um, but if you chase them just wait until you have a clean shot a clean line of sight at their head obviously um, and you know the silent movement is really going to help you with that again the uh, invisibility to their score streaks and the recon air uh, airplane also help in the fact that you're gonna be chasing them um, but this is just really really big it's much better than the other divisions when it comes to getting headshots alone when it comes to attachments there's a couple of attachments that are probably your best bets and then a few others that you can use if it's if you prefer to use them you think it makes you uh, better at getting headshots and those are quick draw and grip now I'm sure you guys are running these on most of your classes anyway uh, but it's pretty self-explanatory you want quick draw so that way you can aim down sights as fast as possible um, and and also aiming in and out of uh, sights helps a lot so if you let's say turn a corner um, and you aim down sights but you realize that they're too close to you uh, with quick draw you can quickly put the gun to your hip turn and then pull back up again to aim towards their head um, and the ability to aim down sights quickly is probably the best um, you know thing that you can have because aiming down sights is significantly going to increase your chances obviously of hitting them in the head because you shoot more accurately when doing so the other attachment that I would highly recommend on every single class is grip um, with the grip on it's gonna reduce your recoil and if you can control your recoil then all the bullets are gonna go um, in a more general direction of where you're pointing so if you are aiming at the head and you have grip on more of your bullets are going to hit their head and that is the whole point of the video um, besides those two a couple of honorable mentions right uh, the next one is going to be a red dot sight or whatever it's called in this game you know what I'm talking about um, if the gun that you're using has terrible iron sights you want to use a red dot uh, even if you normally wouldn't use a red dot it just makes visibility so much better um, for some of these guns that it really really does help if you're really good with the iron sights you don't need this obviously but you know when it comes to headshots you might want to consider doing it just so that way you can perfectly see where you're aiming again we're not trying to get the highest KD in the lobby we're just trying to get as many headshots as we can um, and that's the whole name of the game so you might use a different class setup than you normally would just to get those headshots of course you could use high caliber uh, because that's gonna increase your headshot damage so if you shoot at somebody who is already injured without high caliber they might not die so even even if you shot him in the head and then the body um, you'll get the kill but it won't be a headshot if you have high caliber on and they're one shot now uh, to the head when you hit that first bullet they just die um, so it's kind of useful but but not super super important um, I think this probably needs a little bit of a buff because it doesn't help too much um, a lot of times it doesn't really have that much of an effect on number of bullets to kill so 
I don't I, I mean you can use it if you think that it helps you out um, but it's not something that I personally use and I still have really good success with getting headshots every game and finally if you're using a submachine gun uh, then you might want to use advanced rifling just because it increases the damage fall off so if it takes fewer bullets to kill your enemy then that last bullet you know you want that last bullet to be the one that hits them in the head um, and we're still trying to get a quick time to kill right so you know the longer it takes to kill them the more of a chance that they have to shoot back and give you flinch uh, and then it'll completely throw off your shot and the chances of you getting a headshot are a lot lower so you still want to kill them really really quickly um, so if you need advanced rifling on those submachine guns then definitely throw that on there um, I know with my PPSH I'm using I think grip and advanced rifling to get those headshots uh, just because I don't really need uh, the quick draw for that I'd rather have the advanced rifling because again you want you want that um, the farther damage um, the damage drop off to be in your favor that way if your bullets are hitting the head you're gonna get that kill instead of needing one extra bullet that might not hit their head as far as your basic training goes, this doesn't really matter too much because none of the basic trainings really help that much when it comes to headshots. Um, you can use Hustle if you want to reload quicker so that way you can get back into the action. Um, Primed was nerfed, so I mean it doesn't really give you too much less flinch, so it's not really worth it anymore. Um, I use Lookout just because I like that basic training, but you could also use Forge if you want. Forge is going to let you resupply bullets from your enemies, so if you're really trying to go for those headshots, you don't want to run out of ammo with the gun that you are you know trying to get those headshots with so using forge will ensure that you constantly have ammo for the gun that you're trying to get those camos for um, and therefore you know you're not running around getting headshots and then you have to switch to some other weapon um, and that's pretty much it guys so those are just the quick tips that I can give you to really get those headshot numbers up you know get 10 plus headshots every single game it's very very doable I do it often um, I used to do it really really well in black ops 3 I got dark matter in black ops 3 so I'm very familiar with how to get headshots in Call of Duty and it's not as hard as it sounds especially when you use the tips that I gave you in this video um, drop a comment down below if you have any more tips for how to get headshots not only for me but for everybody else watching the video if you have a, a piece of information that you know I didn't share it could help everybody out a ton if you were to drop that down below so go ahead and do that also while you're down there make sure you click the thumbs up button subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so that way you know the next time I upload a video uh, and that's about it guys so thank you so much for watching this has been Amiark. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.